Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. It's been a crazy, crazy year for me. I started to make videos for you guys again, and then what do I go do? I go fracture my arm. So I wasn't able to do much with it. So I apologize again, but I do want to make something very simple for you guys. I want to show you how I make my fig leaf oil. Uh, I do want to go and cut some of the uh, fig leaves. And while I'm at it, I have my medicine and it's for my fig leaf sap. So basically I have a little bit of alcohol in there and then I add the sap to this. I've been using it. This is good for a lot of stuff, but that'll be another video that I'm going to put up on my other channel, The Woods Beyond, and you'll get to uh, get to know how I use this medicine. But for now, what I do want to do is make fig leaf oil. I have just a little bit left in the fridge, and <laughs> the weather has been nice these couple of days, but the weather can turn any time, and we're going to have to bury that fig tree, or we're going to... Uh, try and wrap it if I can't bury it if my husband's not around it's going to be up to me so hopefully with my daughter Eric will come over and help me at least wrap it I wrapped it last year and with the grace of God I was able to keep that tree alive it's a young tree so it hasn't been giving me any figs but it gives me lots and lots of fig leaves that I use in my cooking and I want to pick up some to put, uh, to make, oh no, no, oh no, okay, we have a visitor, you know you're not allowed in the on the counter, right, okay, this is my little Samson here, and how do we know it's Samson, look at these, look at these mitts, his brother doesn't have the mitts, but he has mitts, little black cat, he's gorgeous, show your face, show your face, okay, you're not allowed up here, you know that. Okay, sorry about that, guys. All right, we will clean this before I do anything. But like I said, I have a little bit of fig leaf oil, and I'm going to show you how beautiful it is. This bottle was full, and now I have just a little bit, and we use this on so many things. I just want to show you how beautiful this fig leaf oil is. Look at that. Look. Mmm. It is just delicious. It almost has like a nutty taste to it. That's what it is. It's a little gelatinous because I mix olive oil with it. I should not. But yes, we're going to make fig leaf oil. It is so easy. Now, some of you are going to say, well, I don't have any fig leaves. But maybe you have somebody you know that has fig leaves. And you can ask them to give you some. And then you can make this. But for now... I'm going to bring you outside, but I won't be able to hold the camera because I don't have my tri tripod here. Erica's not here, so I can't have the camera in one hand trying to get the sap in here and then collect my leaves. So you're not going to see that process, but I will show you maybe just a little bit so you have an idea. And then I'm going to have to put the camera down and just continue picking it. And you'll get the idea how I do okay. it. So I'm gonna take you outside. Okay. All right, guys. So here's my tree. It's pretty much you can tell that I've been cutting down uh, leaves from it. And as you can tell, this is not bird poo, but that is sap. If I cut a leaf here, the milk will drop down, and then it'll stain my leaf. But that's okay because that could get washed. But as you can tell, it's a young tree, so I didn't get any figs, but I did get plenty of leaves. And my daughter, just thank you, Erica, she just showed up. She's able to record this for me and make it a little nicer for you guys. Um, we're in the city, so my property, part of my property is attached to my neighbor. So you might see a brick wall here, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. But my tree got nice and big but I have started to cut down lots of leaves. This was so bushy, it was going a little wild. We put these up to hold the tree because at one point it was so heavy that my tree was just cascading over. But I'm gonna show you what I do. 
Uh, when you cut this, first I'm going to take off my cap because this happens really fast. Erica, you want to hold this for me if you don't mind? And when I cut, for instance, this is a nice leaf, I'm going to cut it. You're going to see it starts to make, there's the sap. And I'm going to collect as much as I can of this. Okay, and I'm going to put this aside. I mean, it's going to continue dripping. I would have to sit here and just hold it. So I'll take as much as I can. And the rest, unfortunately, is just going to drip down to the ground. I'm going to take another one here. And start collecting my sap. As you could tell. Now, this milk here is good for cardio cardiovascular. So what it does is it breaks down like cloths but it's also good if somebody has like a wart, uh, a wart on their skin or if they have like a mold that they want to get rid of you acne. Can, acne so you can use this sap for that and as you could tell my bottle is a little done because I did give this to some family and friends and we're just going to continue taking as much as we can. You really, I mean, I'm not going to over collect. Usually it starts dripping off to the side, but the weather has changed. So, so has my milk in the fig. It's going to come to a point where it's not going to drip as the plant dries up. So I want to get as much as I can now. And then the rest, I'm just going to take these leaves. And we're going to dry them up. And we use it when we make soups. You pretty much just let it dry. And then just crush them in your hands. And throw them in soups. Here we go. Let's take another one. <clears throat> And I'm not wearing my sling like a naughty girl. I should be having my arm in a sling, so. Yeah. You know. You know the saying, do what I tell you, not what I do. <laughs> I am really not taking care of this arm. And it's going to take longer than it should if I don't relax a little. I'm just going to keep adding this. And as you could tell, show Erica, it's still dripping sap from the plant itself. See? Where we are, it's cold over the winter. So the best thing to do is to bend this tree down and bury it. But if my husband's not around, I'm going to just do what I did last year. And somehow, by the grace of God, it survived. Because the chance of it surviving, you know. If you crack the stem to get more. Uh, to get more. Uh, yes, work? I just don't want it dripping everywhere. But oh. I will have to. Sorry. I will have to cut this down just to make my life easier. So we're going to try and cut this down because it's way too tall for me to wrap. I try to contain it. Like I said, I'm okay if I don't get to figs. Um, but I do use the leaves. And the leaves, you can use them as tea. It makes such a delicious tea. And here we go, Erica. Here? Oh, you can tell the sap yeah. is going to flow Over there. Here? Yes. Hopefully, we're going to get quite a bit of sap here. But like I said, if you don't have, like a lot of you are going to say, well, you know what? I don't have a fig tree, Connie. But maybe you know someone who does have a fig tree. And any fig tree will do. It could be a wild fig tree. It could be uh, a pl cultivated, planted fig oh, yeah. tree. Okay, guys, let's go inside. Okay, guys. All this app is dripping. So my daughter says try and see if we could get some from here. We'll see if we could get some there. 
but that's okay anyhow you get the idea guys right now I'm trying to make a video for you so I'm not gonna mess around with this there's still a leaf that I could go and get sap for now you're gonna say how do you use this sap what I would do is say you have a wart on your finger I would put this um, some of this medicine sorry some of this medicine on let me just zoom out a bit not the best place to record guys I apologize again <laughs> anyhow I would put some of this medicine on a cotton swab and then wrap your finger and just let it sit there like even if it's like a week and you want it to do its stuff and then what you do is you take that off and you apply again uh, they also sell those tiny little band-aids that look like um, a little circle you could try that by right, just breaking a little uh, cotton and just make like a little little ball of cotton with this with this stuff and then put your band-aid over it and just let it stay there until it falls off and repeat it that's if you have any uh, ac also for acne for um, for warts for uh, skin irritation you can use this sap on your skin and a lot of people use it by putting some of it in some water drinking it what it does is it breaks down uh, clots in your blood so it's good to have at home if you have that fig tree or you might even be able to buy it online so I am going to make just a small batch just to show you I'm gonna wash and then we're gonna put this in a neutral bullet or any kind of bullet you have I don't even have a neutral bullet right now I just have a generic one and it does the trick now um, the smaller they are the more tender they are but these are great if you dry them and then you just take the leaf when it's dry crush it I put a whole leaf in my soup especially lentil it goes great you can use it in rice just gives you that delicious nutty flavor that makes your dish that much more delicious so like I said, you don't have a tree. See if you have a neighbor that does. Or if you see a tree, especially there's some place in South Carolina. Uh, there's fig trees everywhere there. Maybe you could ask a neighbor if they would give you some leaves. And you could do that. Okay, so let me wash these. Best oil you can use is sunflower oil, uh, grapeseed oil. Something that doesn't have flavor because you want the fig leaf to be the star of the show. It's better to just use a neutral oil. My neutral bullet broke, so I just bought one, a generic one, and it works. As long as it's got the power in the motor, you should be good with it. So we're gonna put some flour, that's what I have right now. And we're gonna put about that much because we have lots of fig leaves. Thank you, Erica. And you want to keep this nice and green for a long time. We're going to put the juice of one lime. If you don't have lime, you can use lemon. Here we go. This will just keep that color. There might be a little more in there, but we'll check it out in a bit. Okay, so we've got our lemon or lime. Now, you're gonna probably ask me, how much leaves do I put? Well, the more leaves you have, the more intense the flavor will be. Okay, I don't take the skeleton off. Sorry, the skeleton, I don't bother taking it off. I just kind of just put it in. I should get a nicer bottle to do this. So I will add extra oil because I put quite a bit in there. There we go. Okay, a little bit of salt. I'm using pink salt. Maybe Erica will help me here. Erica? 
white bone so you can see the most beautiful colors ever. I usually flip my bag and I use a net one. I don't use the cotton one because it might stain, but I put it in, not this way, but I put it in this way. Because if I put it in this way, it's just going to get stuck in there. So this just makes my life a little easier. My hands are washed. Oh, I wish I could smell this. Just something special about this fig leaf oil. Not only is it delicious, okay, pour it in. I'm gonna get a spatula to Eric. Can you give me a spatula? My daughter came just in time so I could have a little help from her. Thank you, Erica. She came to visit her kitty cats. I'm sure she came to visit me too, but she misses those kitty cats. She's got mama and the ba one baby, pumpkin. The rest of them are all gone to either my daughter Amanda's house, my sister Gabby, and my house. Okay, there we go. And now we're just going to squeeze this. And there you go. Fig leaf oil. And you're left with, look at all that beautiful oil. And you're left with all the pulp that you can put in your compost. Okay. There's that beautiful oil. And we are going to fill up my bottle. If there's a little bit of fiber in there, I don't mind because I'm okay with it. Wow, that was perfect. Just enough. It fit the bottle. Get all this goodness in there. Perfect. Mine's really thick because it's more fig leaves than I do have oil. But I could keep, as I use it, I could keep adding to this. But there you go. Beautiful fig leaf oil. Okay. For instance, this is a bottle that I had my hot sauce in. So what I would do is I would open this up, get a smaller funnel, there we go, and then I'm going to add too much let's do this here we go bless you and I put in a smaller bottle tag it fig leaf oil and then just it's easier to drizzle on top of your food rather than having having a big bottle like this but there you go fig leaf oil to put on top of your rice to drizzle on your soup it just gives you such a delicious nutty flavor that I promise you you will enjoy like I said if you so if you see someone who has a fig tree just ask them if they would be so nice to give you some <laughs>